So I'm going to read my um, talk because I have five whole minutes to say a whole lot. But um, come and talk to me afterwards about the work that you see here. So this research is part of the Navigating Marine Social and Ecological Systems project and focuses on risk and uncertainty in the context of EBM. There are two objectives. One is to teach and one is to change. In this project, we understand risk as the potential for exposure to harm and loss and focus on how social and cultural context and personal experiences influence how people understand and respond to risk. Our work is informed by social science research focused on hope, affect, emotion in relation to risk. And we understand hope as a disposition that can open up spaces and generate feelings of possibility. So this project, The Unseen, is a transdisciplinary art, education and science communication project that uses overlapping place-based methodologies from social science, education, science communication and contemporary arts practice to engage diverse audiences. Yes, I'm an artist, so if you haven't got th that already. So, um, <laughs> so, we consider, for this project, we consider audience as an ecosystem and have designed our intergenerational project to start with primary school children from age five to 12. And this is the most efficient and productive way to engage communities and access communities. And although they are the starting point, they are part of a chain reaction of ideas, information, knowledge, and experience, which has been evidenced by anecdotal feedback in the region. So this is Nelson Marlborough. Here's a whole lot of stats about the project, but in essence, we ran 37 pro workshops in 16 schools with multiple communities and approximately 1,600 participants, aged five to adult, so it's, it suits everybody. And there was between 12 and 180 participants in each workshop, and that included at least 200 teachers, parents, caregivers, teacher aides, and all materials will be recycled or repurposed at the conclusion of the project, just in case you're worried. Okay, and so we do this, whoops, there's the stats, I forgot to do the, I've got two buttons. Um, we'll move here. So we go to the schools to present a collaborative art science workshop to remove barriers in participating in science and art across the Nelson Marlborough region. A sustainable seas scientist presents research that relates to the local landscape so the participants have a context to relate to. They tell stories about their research and why they're interested in it. And as the artist and facilitator, I present my research and professional art practice and act as the human bridge between both the art and the science. And then there is a structured collaborative exercise that allows participants to synthesize and process the information from presentations. So that's using the rope. And this result, so it involves working in pairs and coming up with innovative responses to the provocation to co-create a social, relational and educational artwork response. The students are also reminded that there is no wrong answer and so this open-endedness is incredibly important through this, the learning kind of, of this project. And um, the teachers are also participating to model this activity as well but also there's a joy in the playfulness of it. And by the end of the workshop, all the components are connected to become a map of all that was presented and known by the participants about the science research discussed. And it was exhibited at, um, Nelson, in Nelson at Album Square, next to the Suta Art Gallery, and will be re-presented with, with a new local context folded in in 2020. So this is why we do it. We've got about 400 of these postcards um, that detail the, the full breadth of um, responses and this is also open-ended so it's just two question postcard and also had space for drawing which suited those that didn't have the same kind of literacy experience and it reveals how carefully the students were listening but also allowed space to imagine possible futures and re areas of research that I'll feed back to the science community. Okay I just wanted to talk about this one in specific in particular and so the <laughs> So um, this one is about um, estuaries and sediment. And um, so we discovered that in this particular area that all the families of the students, they worked in fisheries, dairy farming or forestry. And um, we discussed here how the local marine environment works rather than actually we're very careful about how we use language. And we talked about the stresses and things that can happen upstream. And um, we're very careful. We weren't blaming and not trying to pick people out because we're working with kids and we need to have their trust. So this is also one of those lovely mind maps that just shows the areas of knowledge that was um, reflected on in the feedback. 
And then we also had community buy-in through front page of the Nelson Mail, which has a readership of 22,000 as well, but it just shows how the community was on board and taking ownership of this project. And then what I wanted to show you is this is actually the proof of the value of um, art being the delivery system for complicated science messages. So 78% of the respondents um, actually only replied with science quest um, responses in both those questions, 18% with both art and science, 3% non-identified, and only 1% re responded with art only responses. So it's essentially proving the value of this kind of very cost effective and highly high impact way of working with communities and getting their trust. So thank you.